Good evening. This is Evangelist Portia Mike Iver, and you are listening to Reaching the Masses Media Ministry Nightly Prayer. Thank you for joining us tonight, and we thank you for listening to us, and if you have not joined yet or if you had not have not um subscribed yet please subscribe um or if you have not liked it yet give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it but just do something (laughs) i don't pretend to be all that but i'd like for this because see the more likes i've got or whatever it causes the algorithms on YouTube to respond. So your watching is good, but your thumbs up will do better. And if you will push that bell, then you can hear us nightly because we all need to pray. And it's good to pray together. You know, when brethren or sisters pray together, Hey, we can move some mountains, y'all. We can move some mountains. Also, if you have any prayer requests for anything, put it in a comment box, and I will respond to you. And if you don't want me to say anything about it live on YouTube, then I will pray on this end, and we will touch and agree. How can we touch and agree? I will pray email you back or comment back to you and ask you to take your phone up right then and you're touching your phone and I'm touching my phone and I will pray right then then I will comment back to you the prayer has been prayed hallelujah have faith God will answer and if you don't want to do that then go to my email the email is reaching the masses media ministry at gmail.com and tell me who you are and tell me about your prayer and I'll pray then. Hallelujah. I don't mind praying. I don't care what time of day it is. I don't mind praying. So if you need prayer, If you want me to pray with you, do those things. Um, There is no reason for anybody to need prayer. And here's a woman of God right here who can get a prayer through. I believe me. Hallelujah. I have seen God answer some things so fast. I'm like, whoa, Lord, thank you. You know, that's how it it is a lot of times. But you know what? We're not here to discuss all that tonight. I just like you to um, like subscribe and hit that bell so that you'll know when I come on for prayer every night because I might be a few few minutes early and I may be a few minutes late you know during the night but I will be here God willing every night and if I'm not then I will get someone my daughter or someone to come on and say why we're not here because we never know what's going to happen up the line. And then we never know what's going to happen with YouTube or Facebook. Because we were doing a noonday prayer uh, this past Wednesday. And I'm just talking and praying and giving Bible scripture and uh, doing a little Bible study. And all of a sudden my daughter said, Ma, there's no picture on Facebook. It was on YouTube, but it was not on Facebook, not on Instagram. And I'm saying, oh, my goodness. So we literally had to take the one from YouTube and upload it later on to Facebook. And I guess she, did you upload it to Instagram? Mm -hmm. Upload it to Instagram, too. But sometimes you just don't know about these social media. That's why I say hit that bell if you want to continue or be notified when I come on for prayer or anything else. Hit that bell and you will be one of the ones that's notified. 
And if not, you know that I'm on around 11 o'clock every night. And on Wednesdays at 12 noon. And on Sundays at 12 noon. Because sometimes, believe me, you can hit that bell, but sometimes you're not notified. So we will always have the schedule somewhere. I'll put it somewhere on this recording tonight. But I just thank you for just coming out to the prayer. Even if you're listening to the archives, hey, push that bell so that we can let you know that we're on. Tonight's scripture is coming from... Wait a minute. <laughs> Psalms 136. Oh, I hate that. I mean, I love Listerine, y'all. I tell you. But Listerine has your mouth feeling so funny sometimes. And I like the original Listerine. And believe me. Whew. Yeah. But um, Psalms 136 and verse 1. Chapter Psalms chapter 136 and verse 1. Now, that chapter has only 26 verses to it. So when you get a chance, either tonight or tomorrow, read it and meditate on it. Get it down in your spirit. And it's a beautiful psalm. I've known, I read this when I first read it. It was like I I kept reading it and reading it and reading it. Oh, God. You know, and then, you know, it was like, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For his mercy endures forever. And I, I, you know, it's something about that song. It's more to it because I had gotten it down to the point one time. But I could just repeat all 26 verses, and I probably could now. But right now, I'm 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 half here, and I'm half in dreamland. But, you know, I am not going to let that stop me from praying tonight. And that's why I am here, to pray along with you. Like I said before, corporate prayer is something about corporate prayer. When God's people get together and they call on his name, hallelujah, he hears. And he's, oh, he loves it. Just like if your children come around you and all of them, all five of them, all both of them, or just one of them say, Mommy, thank you. You're a good money. That's what you're saying when you're giving thanks unto the Lord. You're saying, Lord, thank you. You're a good Lord. He loves that just as any parent is. Would he? Is, he is God the Father. Remember, and he loves to hear our thank you. So don't forget to thank him. Hallelujah, before you go to bed, for the day that you're in, and for the day that's about to come if you're not already in it. Because after 12 o'clock a.m., that's another day. So if that's when you're praying, thank Him for the day before, and thank Him for the day you just stepped in. Because it's a day you will never see again. And we thank God for that. He don't repeat things over and over and over again. He gives you something, blesses you in it, then go on to something new. And I like that about him because nobody wants anything stale. You had a bad day yesterday. You don't want to go through it tomorrow. Hallelujah. But hallelujah. Thank you, God. We just love him. God is our father. He is our king. He is our creator. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And we are heirs and joint heirs with Christ. Who is Jesus? Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We are heirs and joint heirs with him. Hey, we have an inheritance, y'all. Y'all don't get that. (laughs) We have an inheritance. Hallelujah. Not only on the other side, but on this side too. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus came and died for our sins. He opened up that door to the inheritance that he had gave us from the beginning in the garden of Eden, and of course, we're going back there again. Adam and Eve messed it up, but that's okay. Jesus came and gave it back. But let us go before the throne of grace tonight. Like I say, I'm so sleepy tonight, but I just love praying, and I love being on YouTube with you all, and I'm hoping that someone 
will contact or comment or something or like thumbs up hallelujah subscribe and hit that bell so you'll know when i'm on here but le- oh i forgot today was independence day y'all hallelujah thank you jesus and i hope you had a great safe day because we did we had a just a peaceful day didn't do anything so particular especially so put yeah see i'm sleepy so special but we just had a restful peaceful day some people will call it boring but see i've already had the hustle and bustle of life where you're going and going and going and going and going can't sit down and rest and i welcome sometimes the peaceful days when i can just sit down and thank god maybe take a little nap eat my breakfast if I choose, which most of the time here lately I don't. No, don't fuss at me. Yeah, this is a good thing for me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Not going into that right now, but it's a good thing for me to miss breakfast sometime. Just to have it a little later. Um and then you know you have your lunch if you have it. Or and your dinner. Didn't want much dinner, but I'm glad, hallelujah, to have food in my refrigerator. Hallelujah. And and to have a roof over my head. The Independence Day, yes, independent. I no longer have to depend on any kind of mess in the world. Because the world will tear you up. Hallelujah. God made me an independent woman. Hallelujah. When I say independent I don't have to trust anybody but him because he dwells in me. He came and sat in me. Hallelujah. He came and took over my life. And with him, everything is just fine because he will never, ever, has never, will never let me down. So it is an independent day. Hallelujah. You can't be any more independent than when you have God dwelling in you because he lied he leaves and not lied he don't lay down in you <laughs> he leaves and guides you into all truth and we thank god for that today he is our creator he is our lord hallelujah lord simply means messiah hallelujah master savior Head honcho, hallelujah. I love the word head honcho. He is the lead in my life. So that's what makes me independent in God, hallelujah. I thank your father, hallelujah. And guess what? It also makes us, the church, all of us, when you name the name of Christ and you're sealed until the day of redemption, that makes all of us one in God. Therefore, we are independent. Hallelujah, because we are in him, and there is none greater than him. That's when you can say that you're independent, because there is none. That God that's in you, there's none greater than him. There's nobody like him. There's none higher than him. Hallelujah. Search all over. You won't find nobody. Not ever. Hallelujah. He is the great I am. When he told Moses, hallelujah, to tell Pharaoh, when Moses asked him, say, who shall I say sent me? He told Moses to tell him, tell him that I am sent you. You know what that means? I am what you need me to be. When you're my child, I am what you need me to be. I am your mother. I am your father. Hallelujah. I am your savior. I am, hallelujah, the grace and the peace around you. I am your shalom. I am what you need me to be. And if you're not his child, I am your greatest nightmare. Because he was Pharaoh's greatest nightmare. The Egyptians during that time, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's an old saying that says, um, oh, I can't think of what it is. Something about a nightmare. That's the worst nightmare that Pharaoh could have had. And we're not going into that tonight. I'll do that another another Bible study. But that was the greatest nightmare that Pharaoh could have had when you got lice all over you and your animal, when your blood, when your water turns to blood and you don't have any water to drink for days and days on end, when, hallelujah, mice are running around everywhere, when you get boils all over your body, hallelujah, 
when the sun comes out and scorches everything. You can't even go outside. It's so hot. Hallelujah. When you have plagues of locusts and plagues of flies. And, hey, we're not going there like I said. That's when God can become your worst nightmare. He don't have to do anything. He just allows the enemy to do it. And the enemy hates humans anyway. So that's another story for another time. I'm going to come up out of that rabbit hole. And we're going before the throne of grace, y'all. Hallelujah, Father God. I ask you to bow your head with me, Saint. And if you're not a saint yet, and I call you saint because what the, that's what the Bible calls you. Clean and pure before God. If you're not a child of God yet. Before we go to the throne of grace, I'm going to ask you to consider giving your life to the Lord this night. It's Independence Day. It's still Independence Day. It's not 12 o'clock yet, but give your life to the Lord this day and ask him to come into your life. Hallelujah. The Bible says repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The gift of the Holy Ghost is that, but you also with that get eternal life. See, that's one thing nobody teaches, but if you look in the Bible, that's what it says. The Holy Ghost comes with many gifts. Hallelujah. When you receive Christ into your life. That's what happened. The Holy Ghost comes into you. Your spirit comes into your life and he leads and he guides you and you will be blessed eternally because when he comes in, when you give your life to him, you are sealed until the day of redemption. And on the day of redemption is when Jesus comes back and he takes us out of here. Hey, the world not even going to know about it. They're just going to look around and see that you're gone. Hallelujah. That's going to be a day like it's never been. We're going to be up in heaven with Jesus. Hallelujah. With our Father God. But the rest of the world going to look around and say, Hey, where's my neighbor? Where's my mama? Where's my grandma? Where's my friend? But we'll be gone. And they would have been left behind. Hallelujah. And we don't want that. That's why I ask everyone as often as I can to give your life to the Lord. Because there's coming a time when you're not going to be able to hear my voice. And you can read the Bible. And you can pray. But I remember my mom said during that time of the tribulation, and that's what happens after Christ comes and gets his church, us, the redeemed ones, the sealed ones. When that happens, mom says there's no prayer going up and no answers coming down. Oh, I don't even want to be here then. That's why I follow my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I follow him and his word. Hallelujah. And do what he says. I'm not going to be perfect because he said I'm not going to be perfect. But that's why I love him. That's why I pray to him and I thank him and I praise him and I worship him. Hallelujah. Because he is God. He has my future in his hand. My future is not in my hand. Because without him, I'm like a ship on the water without a sail. And there's a storm going on out there, y'all. The world is terrible. Hallelujah. There's a storm going on every day. I don't mean a natural storm. I mean a storm of sin. All kinds of messes happening out there. We, as children of God, are safe. We are calm in the storm, hallelujah, because God will come in and give you a peace beyond your understanding in the midst of trouble, hallelujah. So if you don't belong to Christ today, if you have not asked him in your life, then repeat after me right now, hallelujah, because time is growing short, y'all, it's growing short. Repeat after me right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me for anything about my very existence that's not like you. And Lord, I receive you into my life. I believe, hallelujah, that you are and you were and you are to come. I believe, God, that you sent your son to die for our sins. And I thank you for everything you've done. Jesus, hallelujah, I love you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, come into my life and do something marvelous with it. Hallelujah. And guess what? You're now saved. Now I want you to go find a church. Open your Bible. Buy you a Bible. Hallelujah. 
If you can't afford one, go to the library. They have free Bibles in there that you can open up and read. Hallelujah. And eventually, we'll be doing something about that here. But go to the library. If you have internet, then open the internet. You have the Bible hub. There's every Bible in there that you need. Start reading. Go to some of the commentaries. Learn of him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And if you don't have a library card, hey, they're free. Go to any library near you and get a library card. Most of them nowadays have computers. Go on the computer and look up www.biblehub.com. And you will find every Bible that they is. Sit there and read the Bible every day. Oh, they love for you to do it because the library loves for you to come in. Because they've got customers there, you know. And they see you there on the computer. They're not going to stop you from reading the Bible. So go and do that. Take advantage of what's around you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. They don't care whether you're dressed I mean, you know, when I say dressed, I mean fully clothed, of course. But they don't care whether you're whatever, in shorts, in dresses, whatever, in a suit, in jeans, just go. Be yourself. Just go. Hallelujah. We're going to go before the throne of grace now, and we tell those who have just accepted Jesus into their life, welcome to the family, y'all. Welcome to the family of Christ. You are now an heir and joint heir with Jesus Christ. And if you don't have a church, then we are a bona fide church. Hallelujah. Well, no, let me let me restate that because the church is the ecclesia gathering the gathered ones. Hallelujah. We are a bona fide ministry and we are on here on Sundays, on Wednesdays and every night. And we're going to eventually start doing a Bible study. I don't know what day that is. I'm waiting to hear um, from the Lord. But whatever day it is, hey, you can learn right here. No problem. So let us go before the throne of grace. And once again, if you've accepted Christ, welcome to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. This night, this Independence Day, hallelujah. This July the 4th, Lord, hallelujah, 2019. Lord, we thank you for everything that you have done today. Hallelujah. We thank you and we glorify your name. We praise your name. Hallelujah. Because you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We thank you for keeping us today, Lord. We thank you for all of the saints, your children, we who are sealed, hallelujah, till the day of redemption. We thank you for being our God, hallelujah, our Father. And we thank you, hallelujah, for the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We thank you for the rising of him. Thank you that you rose him up on the third day in all victory. And he said, hallelujah, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Because that's what you did. You gave him all power power in heaven and in earth. Then he turned around and gave it to us, the church, the ecclesia, the gathered ones. Hallelujah. We who are heirs and joint heirs with Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, and we thank you because everybody think they got the power. The only one that's got the power is the power is the God that's in us. And that's you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify your name. And when we speak, in the authority of Jesus' name, you answer our prayer. You move, hallelujah. You will move heaven and earth for your children in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to guide the people tonight. Don't let nobody be hurt tonight. Anyone who's listening to this, Lord, don't let nobody in their family be hurt tonight. Because we know that during these holidays, 4th of July and all that, People tend to get a little wild, Lord. Hallelujah. But we thank you, Father, that you have already kept them safe because of this prayer that's going up tonight. Lord, we ask you to bless the people who are messing with the fireworks tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Don't let there be any injuries. Hallelujah. And if it is, heal them, Lord. Heal them. Don't let it take their life, Lord. We ask you to guide them safely tonight while they're out there and guide them safely back home, Lord. And any cookouts or anything, Lord, 
Lord, we ask you to bless that food. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I know it's a little late at night, but hey, sometime we got to bless it after it's gone down, Lord. Hallelujah. Just in case. Hallelujah. We ate something that won't right. Don't let it make them sick, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, guide our footsteps every day. Teach us where to go. Teach us what to do. In the mornings when we arise, hallelujah, remind us to say good morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Then lead us through the day, Lord. Lead us where you want us to be. Hallelujah. Give us witty ideas, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless our jobs. Bless our businesses. Bless our families. Hallelujah. From the husbands to the children, to the moms, the dads, the grandfathers, and to those that are far off, Lord. Even if they're across the world, hallelujah, bless them. Surround them with your angels, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you and we glorify your name, Lord. And I ask for peace and shalom tonight in our sleep, Lord. Surround us with your angels, Lord, and let us have a beautiful peaceful, restful sleep, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray and we say, Amen. Saints, let me tell you, God is good. He truly is good. Give Him thanks, hallelujah, because He's worthy of every bit of thanks that you can give Him. Hallelujah. We are His children, the fruit of His vine. Hallelujah. We were born in him from the beginning in the beginning he breathed into the nostril of man and man became a living soul the, when he breathed into him guess what he put himself inside of man hallelujah his breath hallelujah and we became his children and ever since then from adam hallelujah that see all of us belong to him whether you're saved or not you belong to him. So know that and come back to him because we strayed away. Hallelujah. Because the Bible said we're born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And we strayed away because when Adam sent, yeah, that blew the whole thing until Jesus came back. But let me tell you something. Jesus did come. He's the second Adam, and he made a way for God's children, hallelujah, to come back to him. So take advantage of that way, hallelujah. Step into the kingdom of God, hallelujah, then learn of him. This is Portia MacIver, evangelist, Portia MacIver, from Reaching the Masses Media Ministry, Nightly Prayer, saying good night, God loves you. And so do I. Bye-bye.